Yo, what's good? Uh, if you don't know me, I'm Harsimran Singh, software engineer with more than 17 years of experience. And I had worked in different technologies and in various organizations across the globe. Today, I'll be covering aspects of JavaScript, especially the thing which is there is enterprise JavaScript. So I want to cover uh, the destructuring here. I want to cover some of the APIs, want to showcase how it works and how to understand that thing uh, at one go. Okay. So uh, have you ever uh, seen any code base which you felt like you were reading uh, hieroglyphics like that, something like that. So if yeah, then welcome to the jungle. We call it enterprise JavaScript here. So don't fear. Okay. First of all, let me break down the most common and powerful features in the real world JavaScript that is destructuring here. So I'm going to walk you through this is a small mini project that I have with me and we'll use, be using the destructuring in an API service in a react component also and uh, i'm handling the optional data safety here and all stuff and counter in pro broad basis okay so here you will be uh, learning with the fake backend that i have used here as a with using the json server and postman so yeah it's uh, isn't a to-do list first of all let me make you very clear it is not something like you have seen in your uh, uh, various G github uh, small small repositories or across various internet files like uh, this is something which you make which will make you to learn uh, this javascript not even the head first books and whatever we call because they will not showcase anything related to the enterprise level uh, things which are there in the real world when you are sitting in the office doing some coding and whenever uh, you are as a junior software engineer or as a senior software engineer or as a tech lead you will be facing the real time issues so my aim is to showcase those things here and I want to emphasize on that thing here okay so here let's go with this thing so here I'm showcasing my code base which I had made a small mini project to showcase you uh, where uh, now I have opened this user service.js file. So what this file is doing basically, so this is our main focus today. It shows the API calls and uh, response destructuring it is showing and JavaScript safety techniques, uh, what I had made here uh, in this get user theme function. Okay. So let's uh, deep dive into this thing. Okay. Uh, so first of all, going with this user service. So here I want to showcase you that what is happening here first of all uh, if you see what is going through i had made three functions here what one is the get user profile another is the update user profile and the third one is get user theme but here uh, this is the thing where you will be learning uh, destructuring and i will showcase what exactly is going on here and you need to understand how to tweak this code how to understand it how to skim it at once only just seeing the code, you should be able to get it what exactly is going on here. Okay. So, uh, we are making a HTTP request here, then instantly unpacking the user part from the nested data object. Okay. So no more response dot data dot user, something like that. So this kind of destructuring is super common in code bases that deals with APIs clean, but only if you want to read it. Okay. So you can see here, okay, this is the data here. Uh, this is the user where we are uh, trying to unpack the user part as i said already from the nested data object so you need to understand here the curly braces you see the colon just you need to focus here on the user thing user we anytime something like this is happening where the api uh, we are the api url we are showing here see it will not always be the direct url you will be having a e environment file so where you will be having those uh, urls and uh, you will be using dot env file from that uh, here uh, it will show you only the uh, the term, term only the uh, terminology what we will be using to map the actual api but we will not be showcasing like this so just, just for making you to understand how it goes so here i'm using the direct api i'm not using the env file here so this is uh, here it goes and in the next case uh, what exactly is there update user profile so how it is so uh, in this function parameter so the function parameter itself is destructured if you see 
So see the function parameter. These these are the parameters. Okay, this we are highlighting. So what will happen here? It expects an object and immediately grabs ID, name, and email. See here. So ID once ID is matched with the ID uh, which we are passing to get the data. So we will be getting three things along with ID, name, and email. Okay. So this is a pro shorthand statement like that you can write in order to get all these things at once. And uh, one more uh, optional thing which I am showing here, uh, I, I wanted to tell you here only because this is my first video and I want to emphasize here regarding uh, not only the ternary operator but exactly the nullish collision thing what is uh, there. Okay, so this you may encounter might be you have seen some example where they are showing you small example with a ternary operator and then uh, you can easily make it out. Okay, if the, the value is not there, then this value will come. Okay, but here what will happen exactly? This line is Jedi trick. It is uh, safely navigating a potentially deep object with optional chaining and if anything goes along it way is undefined or null, it defaults to light. So what exactly is there if there is nothing here if it is all undefined or null here then it will show light it will return the theme as light theme using the nullish colleagues so to avoid the truckloads of if fails if fails if fails we can simply do it in one go in one line using this and especially try to use the nullish colleagues as much as possible because you might be knowing that okay i have to i have something in my mind but what instantly comes in if else if else if else so stop it don't do that try to focus on the things which make your code clean more readable but the readability will come as you will experience the enterprise code okay so this is the way it is so next is my react component that is a user card so one thing you will notice here i have a directory here services i have a directory here components so this is exactly how the enterprise level code uh, exists in such kind of way so in in the components like here i have user card so here it can be like uh, blog card also it can be like article row card something like that uh, i think you can correlate now right so let me open this user card dot uh, jsx file so what you can see here now you tell me so i want you to decipher this line of code exactly at once at looking at once only no need to think more okay what is at least going on here what is at least going on here see three things maybe name email and theme that's all these three things that's all in play right the line unpacks name email and the nested theme all in one go straight from the props remember the props props in react remember the props okay so that way the line unpacks you can see you you just need to focus here when you encounter this curly braces just feel where okay where is the nested thing here nested thing is here here and for the preferences here theme so three things this is super useful when dealing with nested objects coming from APIs or parent components. So this clean code, pure bugs, that is what we are achieving here. Okay. So this is kind of uh, now I'm not using here the backend like Strapi or something which I can use like I have, but uh, unnecessarily it will cause uh, delay and uh, it will make this video for lot too long, which you may be feeling very bored. So here. I'm just showing you, I've taken one uh, J JSON file here. Okay. So what, what exactly we can do here? So this, the, what, what uh, I want to do here is this JSON file for this, I'll be using uh, uh, JSON server here. So using the JSON server, I'll be uh, opening in this postman and we'll simulate the backend using the JSON server. And uh, uh, when prototyping, just learning how the API flow works. Okay, so now I am opening this postman here. Oh, I opened paint actually. <laughs> no problem. Okay, I have it in front of me this mic, so <laughs> which is causing me not to type properly. Maybe that's the thing. Yeah. 
okay so okay i already written here because before going through in this video i wanted to test it once how it works mm, connection refused view in console what happened here okay 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 so this error why is it coming the connection refused to 1701 maybe okay i'm not running the this one ah i need to again run this ah, where it is this is not accepted okay no problem so we have to again run uh json server okay we have to start it again actually no problem ah, yeah it started so here Oh, instead of that this i'll start with this get method here we go okay so the issue was uh, now it's working fine because i was running it from my project directory not from the mock api directory so okay yeah so here uh yeah here is a data with the get operation id1 data exactly the one which we sent now the second thing what we'll be doing is uh what this will do yeah let's see now we want all these details using this api just change this to put and run the same here we go ah yes now you can see two subject text html and id and same magic goes there if i open this is how it has changed this json yeah so the thing is that here uh, we had now covered the destructuring in multiple flavors and uh, basically uh, the purpose of what i have shown is clean code clean apis with the react props real backend like testing which i had just shown to you with some bugs <laughs> yeah so this is exactly because uh, even I have not many times used JSON server because we don't uh, use we have a backend uh, so so we are consuming the backend in our front end like that in JS so this is the case we're going on so now to showcase you in this example so I have to create a JSON server to mimic as if uh, we are mocking a API environment to just showcase you think like that okay so in real life you will not be using this kind of json server but you will be having uh, apis from the backend as uh, backend application will be there which uh, you will be consuming the apis in your front end application so nobody will know what exactly is at the backend so this kind of uh, scenario will be there in the enterprise level uh, where you have set some kind of architecture so maybe you are lucky so this is where uh, the things are happening here and these are the exact skills developer use in enterprise code bases every day so if you found this helpful so smash the like button subscribe and drop me a comment if you want something in the part two so what i am planning in the next time maybe i'll be deep diving into the custom hooks services uh, layers or state management tricks which actually scale okay till then happy coding and uh, don't uh, fear regarding the destructuring now what i feel like okay so bye bye yep